Hello everyone, and welcome back to part 10 of our Blender tutorial series on creating a bathroom. So in this episode we're going to be adding uh, that shower in I was talking about. So we're going to add a quick little base for it, um, the glass wall and the shower head. Um, and then in the next one we're going to add that little cut in the wall for the soap bottles and such. So this is going to be pretty easy. Um, and then in the next video, I think we're also going to dive into UV unwrapping and shaders. So that's going to be also interesting, but also pretty challenging. So get ready for the next one. But uh, anyways, we really want to get this shower in here so we can add more to our scene. Because, um, you know, it, it looks pretty cool with the glass. And um, we're going to, with the way we use the textures, we're going to add some sort of a reflection. So you're going to be able to see, like, the table bouncing off the glass. So it's going to look really cool. So anyways, what we want to do is we want to add in a cube, and I'm going to hide our player character by selecting them and then hitting H. We're also going to hide the bathtub. Um, and I'm going to hit Shift A and add in a cube real quick as our base. We're going to, we use a lot of cubes for primitives. Um, and I'm just going to drag it over, kind of make it center-ish, get a feel for it. And then I'm going to tab into edit mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit S and scale it up, make it real big. And I'm going to hit S, and then I'm going to hit Z and lock it in the Z, so we can kind of make it a bit shorter, kind of by like foot height. Um, and then we're going to scale it down a bit just by pressing S in edit mode. Um, and then we're just going to try to push it in the wall a tiny bit because we, you know, we don't want it to look like it's isolated or something. Um, so I'm going to tap back into edit mode, and we're going to delete this bottom face because it's not going to be rendered. So we're just going to select it, pull it up and then we're going to hit X and delete faces. So that looks nice. And then this is going to be a really easy one to model. So we're going to select this face, making sure we're in face select mode, and we're going to press I. We're going to drag it in a bit, by in, so we're, we inset it, and then we're going to hit E and right click to extrude it, and then we're just going to drag these faces down. And that looks pretty good. Um, and it also, since this object looks a little too sharp for my liking, we're going to be smoothing it out a bit here in a little bit. Um, but right now we're just making sure it looks nice and centered. Um, so yeah, now we're going to go and add the bevel modifier again, making sure our object's selected. We went to the modifiers panel, and we dropped it on there. And we also need to tweak these settings. So we're going to um, we're going to tweak the um, actual width of the bevel, shrinking it down quite a bit. Um, and then we're going to up the segments to three again, so we can get some more supporting um, geometry on those really sharp edges. And because this is basically a um, really smooth looking surface. We're going to bump the width up a little bit and we're also going to go to object mode making sure object selected and hitting shade smooth so we get that nice smooth surface. Um, and because this object is basically all 90 degree angles we don't have to turn on um, it, like the angle limit we can just let it bevel every surface so that looks nice and tidy. Um, that's pretty much all we have to do for this one. We'll add a shader to it later. Um, now we're going to add the glass I believe so we're going to hold down Shift A, drop in another cube, and we're going to drag it over to the shower, um, kind of centering the origin point, that little orange dot. And then we're going to pull it up a bit, and we're going to tab into edit mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to scale it way down, because this glass is going to be pretty thin. And then we're going to hit S, and then Y, and we're going to scale it in the Y direction, then S, and then X, and we're going to scale it in the X, dragging it up and making it you know wider. Um, and then we're going to let it sit just a little bit on the base. We're going to make want to make it look center, and we're also going to scale it in a bit by hitting S and X, making it a bit thinner so it can kind of sit nice and centered with that base. Um, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to drag it to which side are we going for? I guess we're going to tap back into edit mode and uh, drag it manually. So I'm hitting S and then Y, and then we're extruding it out a bit more. And we want it to be kind of on that corner of that shower, as you can see. So we're going to tab into wireframe by hitting Z and going to wire. And then we're going to hit S and Y and make it a little bit bigger. Now we're going to go into object mode. And since it's sticking out of the wall now, what we can do is we can drag it until it's sitting on that corner like I was talking about. So you can see I'm going to select that arrow and drag it over a little bit. And that looks good. And you. And if you notice, it is sticking out of the wall, but that's okay, because we're going to delete that face in a second. Now we're going to go into face select mode, and we're going to select the top, and we're just going to manually drag that up through the roof. So it's covering like the whole area. 
and then we are going to select the top face and the side face and we're going to hit X oh and the bottom face sorry all three of those are not rendered and then we're going to hit X and delete faces only so that's pretty much it for our glass object you can see it's very basic and since it's so far from the camera and very thin we don't have to bevel it or anything like that so we're going to hide that real quick by selecting it and hitting H and now we are going to get started on the shower head so the shower head is a little unique um, it's going to be a little weird uh, because we have to use a, a technique called shearing to make that hard right degree angle um, thanks blender guru for showing me the shear tool in your videos <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a cylinder hitting shift a at a cylinder um, and we are going to bump it down to 16 vertices and we're going to make sure that our, ta our cap type is filled to nothing that looks good and we're going to drag it over to the wall and get it ready to hang on the wall um, so you can see here I'm just dragging it around and then in a second we're going to rotate it so all I'm doing is hitting R excuse me and then I hit X and I typed in 90 degrees so we rotate it 90 degrees um, now we're going to tab into edit mode and scale it down a bit and then we're going to drag it up a little bit uh, trying to get an idea so we're going to let our human character back in because we want an idea for how tall the shower head needs to be and since our character is already pretty tall we're going to make sure it's kind of lower down to the ground kind of like within arm's reach um, so that looks decent enough um, and then we're going to make sure that it's nice and center uh, Here's a reference again. You can see it has kind of a blunt uh, base, so we're going to keep it nice and blunt, and then we're going to shrink it out a bit. Um, so we're going to zoom in here, and I believe we're yep, we're going to tab into edit mode, and we're going to make sure that we are in edge select, and then we're going to alt click this edge loop. And we're going to hit E, and then I'm going to right click to deselect, and then I'm going to hit S and scale it in a little bit. So that looks good. And then I'm going to hit E, and then we're going to right click, and then we're going to drag it out a bit. And then this is where we actually use the shear tool here in a sec. Um, because we need to get that hard right angle, and this is an easier tool to use than opposed to like rotating and scaling and all that weird stuff. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to hit F3 in a second. Come on, quit monologuing. <laughs> F3, and we're going to type in shear, and then we're going to click on that. And then, basically, it's a tool that will allow us to rotate it um, in a certain axis, and uh, it'll be easier for making that 90 degree, like, hard angle turn. Um, so I believe in the beginning I type in 0.5 or something, but that's not right. And I also messed up with the camera angle, I believe. Um, so this can be a quick fix. Um, and you can see when I extrude it down, it wasn't quite right. Because when I hit the shear tool, I typed in 0.5 um, instead of just pressing 1 and making it go max. So, so anyways, we hit Control z a couple times until we get back that extrusion. Um, and then I type in shear one more time. And this time, I just type in 1. And this is what we want right here. And then I made sure to hit Enter to lock it in. Um, so it looks a little bit strange. I believe it's because I didn't do it from the side view. So now we're in the front view, and this time it should work 100%. So while in the front view, um, it, this is what it will use to base the shear off of. I type in 1, and it will give us a really like sharp angle. And then what we do here is we press E and right-click, and you'll see it's giving us that angle we want. Um, and then it's as easy as pressing S while selecting that edge loop, and then typing in 0 while, in the Z, while locking in the Z-axis, and we'll have a... Uh, that really hard right degree angle and a flat base at the bottom after the extrusion. So that looks nice and tidy um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to stretch this out so while still selecting this edge loop by alt clicking on it we're going to hit E right click and then we're going to scale this up so we can kind of get that shower head disc at the top and then we're going to hit E and right click again and drag down and we're going to hit E right click again to deselect and then hit S to uh, actually we merge so we hit Alt M after extruding and then we're gonna make that triangle fan so now we have a closed off shape 
So that looks pretty good, and especially since it's super far away from our camera, we don't have to go crazy in depth. But you notice when we turn on smooth shading, we get that shading error, and that's because those 90 degree angles are too sharp. So we're going to add another bevel modifier while selecting the object, um, and I set it to angle with three segments like we've been doing so far. Um, and I also tweak the bevel width so it isn't quite as uh, round. So you see there, I'm just adding that little bit of supporting geometry. And I'm going to bump up the angle right here. Um, so make sure your angle is similar to mine if you've been following the tutorial. Because what we want to do is we want it at about like 33 degrees, I believe, so that it still gets that ring on that right, on that 90 degree angle. But it also doesn't make every edge um, sharp with a bevel. Um, actually, in this case, I turned on auto smooth. I believe. <laughs> Sorry for jumping around. Um, yeah, so auto smooth basically is just a tool for averaging out the faces better. Um, so while your object's selected, you want to go to that button in the properties panel, select auto smooth, and then when you go to object and smooth, you'll see that it actually looks really nice, um, and we don't even have any beveled geometry at this point. So that's all fine and dandy. Um, I think we're happy with this. Um, I might have tweaked it a little bit more. So you can see here I tabbed into edit mode and while I selected this um, edge loop at the end here I marked it, I mark it as sharp by going to edge and then mark sharp at the bottom and you'll see it'll give us that really sharp edge and this only works with auto smooth on I believe. Um, so you can see there now we have that really nice looking um, pipe basically. I'm gonna hit Alt H just to put everything back in the scene. So everything's looking pretty good so far. Um, so in the next episode, we're going to add that hole in right there where my cursor is um, with another boolean. So that's going to be really easy to use. Um, and then after that, we're going to model some little soap dispensers and a bar of soap. Um, I believe we also get to texturing some objects in the next video, specifically the table. So it's going to be a lot of fun the next one. If you've been with us so far, the next video should be the most challenging and the most fun. So thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Thank you.